Hey YouTube, uh, Dak the Trainer here. I just wanted to do a little uh, update on the GBA for iOS scene. It is back up. I'll link shop in the description to Dino Zambaz's video on how to install it. It's literally the same tr uh, the same thing shown. If you already installed the app, you can just go into the settings and update it using software updates. Did you remember to change your date back to the day before the update is set? Like usually go back to like 2013, that's what I always do. So I'm going to run through the little things which is in GBA for iOS 7.0.4. First off, is it ends up fixing the whole Nintendo takedown thing. It, instead of like the in-app web browser taking you directly to Google ROMs, it now takes you to the Google search page. It also uh, gets rid of all copyright logos, including any skins, for example, Pokemon or stuff. And it also can fix a, a, a general bug which stops crashing. So uh, I just want to make sure that like, there's going to be a new event coming out after this a few weeks ago, and you need to be prepared for the new 2.1 update, which includes training, which I shall be covering on my channel. Also, don't forget, keep subscribing to me. I'll have new videos out as much as I can. Also, before I forget, definitely, definitely just keep checking back every week for new videos on GBA for iOS 7.0.4, since I shall be doing a lot of tutorials on the, the new update and how to get ROMs directly installed and everything. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the URL has actually changed now, it's gbfryos.angelxwind.net. Angelxwind is the creator of the Nintendo DS emulator, by the way. The link shall be in the description to the new URL if you want to check it out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.